What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. Well, Keeneland is not the only track that has solid action going on this weekend uh, for the Breeders' Cup, as Belmont at the Big A also does as well. So for this preview, we're going to talk about the Grade 2 Vosburg Stakes at Belmont at the Big A. It's Race 5 on Saturday, $250,000 purse for this one, uh, going seven furlongs, and it is a Breeders' Cup win and you're in for the sprint. That's all the good news. And that's when the good news ends. This is a field of five, and it's not great uh, when it comes to star power whatsoever. Field of five always is, is a downer, but sometimes you'll get a really good horse in it, and it's like, okay, this will be fun to watch. We didn't really get that uh, at all in this spot. However, the number four elite power could be that horse that's rising up the ranks and ready to make a little bit of an impact on this division. He is three for his last three coming into this, coming into this one. And had a really nice win at Saratoga last time out uh, in an allowance group and just kind of dominated. So I do think the number four elite power, you know, if he was facing Jackie's Warrior or Jack Christopher, maybe we wouldn't be overly excited about this horse, uh, you know, chances. But uh, I do think this is one that's developing into something pretty nice. I kind of think number four elite power is kind of going to dominate this field. That's who I'm going to put on top in this spot uh, and see what happens. Now, the horse that I think if he bounces back, could run a little bit better today, could maybe give these horses a little bit of a run for their money, is the number one Southern District. Last time out at Saratoga in the tail of the Cat Stakes, this horse was really nowhere to be found. Did not run very well whatsoever. Before that, the horse had won three straight allowance races at three different tracks, one at Aqueduct, and then one at Belmont, and then one at Churchill Downs. Now we're back at Aqueduct, which may have been his best performance of, out of all of them, Back with Aqueduct here uh, in, in that race that he won at Aqueduct, three back, one by six and a half length or six and a quarter lengths, looked really good and did it going one mile. So seven furlongs, not too big of a difference here. Uh, horse likes to come from out of it a little bit, so we'll see if he can do it in this spot here. Um, I think if the number one Southern District does kind of bounce back, we've got a shot to see him run uh, pretty well, and this is kind of a field today that fits him pretty well. I think he's got a pretty good shot um to you know kind of bounce back and and he fits with these horses as long as he shows up and runs a decent race but on top i am going to go with the number four elite power i just think he has too much power for this field um like i said leaves a little bit to be desired so number four elite power on top for me with the number one southern district in second all right guys that's it for the preview of this one not a lot to get excited about uh here admittedly we got a great racing going on with full fields at keeneland this one was a bit of a disappointment, but it is a Breeders' Cup win in your end, so we will uh, preview them for you. So that's it for this one. Hit like if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it and want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this or videos of any nature, and you'll get alerted when we do so if you are subscribed. So thanks, everybody, for watching this one, and good luck if you're playing Belmont at the Big A on Saturday.